How's it going everyone? It's Liger NFT Collection. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make these NFTs. Uh, yes, this is the Lazy Lion page, um, but this is a good concept of the stuff that I can show you how to make. Now in the future, I will show you how to list whatever collection you want on whatever marketplace you want. But essentially, Lazy Lion is a bunch of different layers put through a code to get the different random looking uh, lions. So what do I mean by that? Um, if you see, um, it's all the same lion, just a different, you know, facial expression or different hair, different eyes, um, accessories, clothes, you know. So if you go ahead and click on one of them, I'll just show you an example. As you can see, like this right here, the properties, the background, the body, the body gear, the headgear, the eyes, the earring, the mane, and the mouth are all different property, all different traits that you can collect off of these. And all those different properties and traits are all just randomly generated through a code that I'm going to show you how you can use, or I'm going to show you how to use. Um, so let's go ahead and go back here. Just so I can pull up another one. Uh, this one right here was, let's look at this. So again, it's all the same stuff, but just different. Uh, so what, what someone did was they went here, like what I did. They went to Photoshop or whatever you use to draw your image on. And then you just kind of change the concept of it here and there. So you just change some of it. So what I did is all I did was change the coloring of certain stuff. So I have uncommon colors. I have common colors. I have rare colors and I have ultra rare. And I have, I have one legendary, which is uh, the gold one. Um, I'm going to be giving away some of these to my subscribers. So especially if you're, you know, the first 10 subscribers that I get, I will be giving away um, some of the NFT in this collection. But uh, I will show you how to generate a random 10,000 collection just like I did here. I only did 500 because generating 10,000 takes a long time. But essentially is all the colors that I put in for all my different layers, which I will go ahead and show you real quick what those layers are. Um, I have my decals. So the decals are, as you can see, the stuff that's changing right here um, from gray to pink. Those are the decals. Um, and then that means on each generated one, one of these can be different. Um, as you saw on the open C page right here, you know, there's different rarities. I'm going to be showing you how you can add these different rarities to your uh, collection as well. So if you're using Photoshop, whenever you name your stuff, go ahead and name it, whatever you want it to come up as, or whatever would be easiest to copy and paste onto open C or whatever platform you use, but make sure you, you use a hashtag and then a number. Uh, I chose number 10, you can do whatever number, but it's easier if you do hashtag and the same number for everything. So you do decals and then in the eyes as well, hashtag and then number. But so in, what you wanna do first is you know come up with you know concepts. So here's the concept, and then you want to add tons and tons of layers, right? The more layers you have, the more you can actually generate. You can generate even more than 10,000 if you wanted to. But what I have right now, you know, again, I can change the colors of the background, um, anything you want, go ahead and keep changing. Let's go to the shell, these coloring, coloring <laughs> colors. So there's like one of the rares. Here's one of the ultra, ultra rare, legendary gold. I think looks dope. Yeah, you kind of get the concept, right? So every the different layers will be the different properties and attributes that show up on OpenSea, right? So this is how they show up even on my OpenSea. So I will show you real quick. I have two collections. I'm making another collection. So this Liger, the Liger collection here is actually an Ethereum market on, on the Ethereum market right now. Um, I'm going to be converting a lot of different ones over to the Polygon network. Um, Polygon is just a free, basically, um, way to list your NFTs if you want to use OpenSea. It's actually free to list them um, and free to sell as well. So this is the um, you know the Polygon one that I'm going to be doing as well, just so I don't have to keep paying uh, for all those ones that sells and stuff because that is kind of annoying. You know, you sell something for five bucks, but you got to pay you know two hundred dollars in gas fees. You know, kind of isn't worth it. So here's the Polygon one, but for my properties, oh, this one doesn't have it. Whoops. Let's go to a different one. Uh, here we go. So this one right here, as you can see right here, boom. It has ultra rare rainbow, which 5% have. 
uncommon purple, 5% uh, have this one. The armor shell, 5% have the uh, green as of right now, just because I have it listed. You know, of course, the more you list, the higher or lower these numbers will go. So, like, the ultra rares will be very low. The uncommons and commons will be a lot higher. I just haven't listed, you know, I've only listed, like, 20 of them. So, of course, the um, percentages aren't going to be um, accurate right now. But I'm going to actually kind of start listing more on the polygon one. But let's go ahead and get back to everything you're going to need to do. So once you have your concept and you have all your layers, uh, what you're going to want to do is make sure all of your layers are, you know, selected. So toggle the eye contact or the eye button on all of your layers. So once all your layers are selected that you want uh, to be downloaded, because each layer has to have their own file. If you're in Photoshop, you come here to File. You come to let's see here export and then you export uh layers to files um and then you want to browse the destination uh create a folder where uh, you want all your layers uh, to be downloaded at so let me tell you the more layers you have the lot longer it's going to take i had maybe like 400 layers and it took you know hours for this to this process to happen but uh, it's you have to do this so once you selected the folder to, for it to go to you want to make sure you select visible layers only. Uh, change the file type. If yours isn't on PNG24, change it to PNG24. Uh, select include ICC profile. Uh, transparency is fine. Make sure trim layers is unselected. You do not want trim layers. And then hit run. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do that. So hit run. All right. So then after they all have downloaded, into the folder into the file it's not going to uh, look like this at all you're going to need to make uh, folders just like mine uh, make sure these folders are spelled correctly because this is what's going to show up on OpenSea. so then if you went ahead and you know named all your layers whatever you wanted them to be it's a lot easier to uh, put them all into those selected folders so while in the background all those files are being uploaded to the other file go ahead and let's download some of these programs like i told you there is a little bit of coding involved not much i i know absolutely nothing at, at all about coding and it was very easy for me to do so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what you're gonna need to download this is node.js um, from what i know this is what the script is running so we have to download this so our script is able to uh, run so if you use the windows go ahead and download i i prefer the 16.13 uh, the, the current one had a little bit of bug issues for me, so this one worked perfect. So go ahead and download this. Uh, and I'll also leave in the link in the description everything you need uh, to download. So in, in the link uh, in the description, you'll find this right here, uh, Hashlips Art Engine. Uh, Hashlips is actually a guy who made the code. So go ahead, um, you'll come here, and you'll download this source code right here, the zip file. Download that. And then... Uh, you need to download Visual Studio Code. Uh, if you're Windows, download this. If you're on Mac, you can get the Mac version. So after that, uh, what we, we're going to need to do is after all those are installed, we're going to need to open up. Uh, well, you're going to need to install this. And then once this is actually installed, then we can go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. All right, so after the node.js was downloaded, Go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. Uh, whenever you open up Visual Studio Code, come here to File, uh, hit Open File, and then open up wherever, whatever Hashlip Art Engine you need, at least 1.9 or 1.10. So whichever one of those you went and downloaded, uh, go ahead and open that file. Once you open that file, you'll see all this right here. Um, the only things that we're the only thing that we're going to be focusing on really is just right here in this config.is file. But first, what we're going to need to do is come here to this build folder. Nope, I'm sorry. First thing we need to do is come to, let me see.
Okay, so once the node.js got downloaded, go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. And as soon as you open up Visual Studio Code, go to File, Open File, find your Hashlip art engine, either 1.9 or 1.10. You need either one of those. So when, whichever one you downloaded, open it. Uh, once you open it, you you will see this. You'll see all these uh, files and stuff. It might look overwhelming, but we're only going to be focus, focusing on two files. Uh, this src has the config file which is everything that we will be changing um, the only things that we're going to be only thing only things that we will be changing is however many you want minted which is this number right here and then change go ahead and everyone change this to their width and height to 1000 by 1000 it just makes the image quality a little bit better and then the only, next thing come here to these layers right so after your files and everything got downloaded. You went through and sorted them all into these you know, these folders. What we're going to do is we're going to take all these folders and we are going to drag them. Make sure you drag them into the layers. And so as you can see, it put them all into the layers. You know, it it did them alphabetical alphabetical order. You know, you, th that isn't going to be the same as how it shows up here. Uh, the layers shown up here in the config.io uh, file, the is file, uh, these need to be in a specific order. This is how uh, the images will, will be generated. So these need to be in the right uh, layer format or the images are going to look weird. You know, so mine, this is the file that this is the way that mine had to go. So all my images look proper. Um, so once all that is done, um, remember how you had the number 10. Um, this is your rarity stuff. So to uh, do the rarities, and as you can see, this is all the pieces um, now to the puzzle. Um, actually, I'll talk, about, I'll talk about rarities actually here in a second. So what you want to do first is you want to change this. I'll go ahead and just mint 10. Um, and then any anytime you do that, you must come here to file, and you have to save anytime you make a correction or in here, or it, nothing will uh, work. But first, after, before we can even mint anything, you know, you have all your layers and stuff in here. You know, we're almost almost there. You know, we changed the the width and the height. You know, you may have to add a couple of these lines. You know, it's as easy as you come to the end of it, you hit enter, and then you just copy exactly what was the line above it. Um, but what we want to do is get the program actually working. So to do that, we have to do a couple of lines of code. So what you want to do is come here, terminal, hit new terminal. The first code we have to, we have to run, and you must run this, is going to be, depending on which one you're using, mine's cd space hashlips. I'm sorry, cd space hashlips underscore art underscore engine dash one point zero point nine underscore update. If you did the newest one instead of 0.9, it'll be uh, 0.10 and then update. So go ahead and hit enter. If, you, if it's right, you'll see this pop up. And then you want to run npm i, which is going to install all the uh, files you need. Then once that's done, guys, I mean, it's basically all done. All you do now, uh, the next code is node index.js. You know, so once all your layers are proper, you know, everything's looking fine. Well, this is. How you're gonna figure out if it is looking right you just hit enter and as you can see right here it's creating edition one two if you come here to build come here to images you start seeing the images right here uh, pop up i'm going to come right here to this image file so this is where all my images uh as they're generating come get downloaded and so right here as you can see every image is different not a single one of them will look the same so now that we see that the layers and everything that I is all in the right place, uh, what we want to do now, if you care about the rarities, you can watch this part. If not, you can just fast forward to the next part. But to get rarities, what you want to do is you want to go back to your layers. And it's easier now since they're all 10. Um, so my commons, you know, will show up. Um, a little bit less than you know the uncommons, right? The uncommons are going to be the ones that show up the most. So, I need these. You know, you need to rename these, and you have to play with these numbers. You know, I'm not really for sure what all this means, but the numbers that I do do work for me. So I use 
um, depending on how many layers you have, of course. Uh, my uncommons are going to be a, I don't know, probably a 20. So I'm going to do all the uncommons at 20. So, got to rename all of them. Alright, so once you rename all of them, so as you can see here, are, all my comments are 13, uncommons are 18, um, rares are 10, legendary 3, and my ultra rares are 6. Uh, that goes for on all my layers, except for the uh, shadow and the outline, because those don't need it, but everything else is the same. Once you do that, make sure you save it. So once that's saved, uh, you can come back over here, and I'm actually going to go to the config. I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to do 100. And then come up here. If you use the up on the um, arrows, uh, you can just run the node.js thing again. All right, so now if we come to the uh, image folder, um, we can see, uh, let's see. So my numbers really aren't the best but I can still manage and work with this. Um, I can kind of just go through here and pick out more of the common and uncommon ones that it do that, that it does generate. Um, but as we'll have some of the, have some cool stuff with, you know, the legendaries and the rares and stuff like that. And just get like this one right here is all uncommon and common. So this would be one, the good one, the list that get all the attributes, you know, kind of all equal, uh, all, all even. So when you do add stuff like this one has a rainbow teeth in it, you know, it's not flooding the market. So this is exactly how you can go and generate, you know, however many you want. I have a hundred of them going right now. As you can see, we're on 30, 31. Um, this one here is actually pretty cool. Um, but now, um, well, how do you know, how do I know what is on my, you know, character? So that's easy. So let's go back to the, if you come back here to Visual Studio, if you come to, um you have your images where this right here is where the image is being downloaded uh, downloaded to but then you have your dot json right so let's look at remember what image let's remember what image of one looks like blue all right image one is blue so if we come to the json image one boom common background blue eyes uncommon eye gray, teeth, uncommon teeth gray, decals, common decals, dark blue, uh, armor piece is blue too, right? So it has all your attributes right here, which is easy for you to just copy and paste over to whatever platform you're using. And so that's really, that's it guys. I mean, it really is that simple. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll answer whatever you have. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And like I said, for the first 10 subscribers, I will give you a uh, either a rare, ultra rare to a legendary version of the uh, NFT. So thank you very much and I hope everyone has a good day. Peace out.